Delaney and I'm a junior at East Carolina University in the interior design program and we were taking the class product design for special populations with Ms. Savoot and over the course we were asked to design a project to help the needs of the Little Bully Center in Greenville and go through the entire process from day one to the very end of finishing and building the product. Hi, I'm Brittany Skunda, a junior level student at East Carolina University in the interior design program. Some of the things that we've been had the opportunity to learn in this class is getting to know and become more familiar with tools that usually girls our age aren't really familiar with. And we got to experience a little field trip to Lowe's hardware store and we're taken through each aisle individually and just explained what everything in Lowe's pretty much is, which was extremely helpful and beneficial to all of us. And also working in the shop, we have really learned to become more familiar with drills, saws, and all kinds of tools that I never found myself <laughs> ever using. As we were designing products for the Little Willie Center, um, a community center that is used by children in Greenville, we had all designed different products. I had designed a chalkboard that was like a storybook that was rotatable. Anna had designed modular benches that had flower potting units in them also. Sydney had designed a grape-like trellis that had seating units to have shade in the area. And we all tried to incorporate our designs as for the children, helping the children for the community. We just really wanted to give back to them because that's what it's all about. And for the other three of us in the class, um, I myself created an outdoor musical playground which interprets five tuned drums all at different sizes and um, a xylophone. And Mac had geometrical modular shapes tied in where she is using games and it's an easy way for children to learn their shapes and different ways to use these shapes and Jessica had the modular tables bookshelf that you can pull out the drawers and the plexiglass on top so you can see all the books. We've learned that everything takes time and it's not just, you know, I want to make this as a design, build it. It's a whole process that takes time. You need to know your materials, you need to know how your materials work, you need to know what is the best way to put materials together. Since we've actually had to use, make these things life-size models, we had to learn the specific specifications that these children are actually going to need, like the different heights, the weights that will be used on these type of products, and we've just really had to learn the backgrounds of just basic stuff that we were never taught or needed, needed to learn in the first place. But we've learned that there are multiple types of wood. There's not just one type of wood, which in my mind I would have thought that's what it would have been, but wood actually, there's a lot more things that go into wood as if water's put in it, it can break a lot easier, it can bow out, and you just have to learn the... Definitely opened our eyes. We didn't realize how much actually goes into designing anything, even from a chair to our products we're doing. It really opens your eyes and it makes you think about how you're actually going to use a product instead of, oh, just, I want this made, can we make it? Hello, my name is Melissa Alston. I am the volunteer coordinator for the Little Willie Center right here in Greenville, North Carolina. Willie Center is a Christian-based organization. We started in 1990 um, by filling out a one-time venture grant with United Way. The primary goal for the Little Willie Center is to take children ages 3 to 17 and provide a safe haven for a latchkey youth that will un unotherwise let themselves in the house while their mom works two or three hours later and then and the Little Willie Center got involved with Dr. Savut's interior design class over this past summer around May. As you all know the East Carolina University have a summer school session and the students were given a project which was to go out into the community find a, a community organization preferably a youth organization and create some products for that organization's needs. From the Little Willie Center, Ms. Renee Arrington, our chairman of the board, Mr. Marvin Arrington, and the rest of the board directors, all of the parents, all of the children, and the staff 
we want to say thank you so much to Dr. Savut, to Mr. Paul Janino, to all of the interior design students, all six of you all. You all did an excellent job. Thank you so much for asking the Little Willie Center to support your design, to support your program, to support your summer school class. We just ask that if there's anything else that you need, we are just a phone call away or you can just stop by anytime. We could not have done this type of service without you all. We just thank you for your collaboration and your patience. Thank you for all the volunteer time and the time well spent with actually creating the product. And we are just, we'll never forget this day. We'll never forget who made these designs. And we just thank you so much for just entrusting us and the facility. Isn't that soft?